like two minutes. Maybe it's the room. Jules, our room is a total downer. Final hook is going to get fucked. Hard. Harder than a, harder than a porn star. There's no sympathy for the devil. Keep that in mind. Buy the ticket, take the ride. And if it occasionally gets a little heavier than you had in mind, well, maybe chalk it up to forced conscious expansion. Tune in, freak out, get beaten. Oh, fuck. Shit, oh my god, is she? Hey, Jules, hey, Jules, are you here? I was once driving a 1982 Jeep, Jeep Scrambler full of cocaine from Dallas to Missoula delivering to a renegade padre and his congregation of 30-something redhead virgins on the day Pappy Bush shot down that Iran flight. Yeah, she's not moving. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck, fuck. Are you uh, sure? I mean, she's not moving. And she's also sinking. She's sinking to the floor. Well, pick, pick her up. Pick her up. I can't. My hands. I, I <laughs> what does she have? Five shots of tequila, a bag of grass, a handful of psilocybin, the good old magic mushrooms, and the antidepressants I stole from my last therapist and made for a mother of a trip. I remember Bush Sr. You wouldn't know Bush Sr. if he made you bunt cake on your birthday, but who is this old fool to tell you who and what you know? I remember everything. Is that supposed to happen? Nothing is supposed to happen. Free will is a dangerous and ill-fated concept, my good lady, and if your generation can figure that mess out, well, we'll do better than any of us have. Make a stop. Who are you? Have you been listening to a damn word I've said? If you're here and and I'm here, then then you have to be something. Lord Almighty, I'm glad I didn't live to see the day when the young people would be dumber than the rest of us. Will you fucking say something already? Okay, okay, hold your horses, young lady. Zoloft, Prozac, Seraphine, Lexapro? That's the one. Shit, don't feel bad. If I had my way, I'd put Xanax in the water. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be taking them. They're, they're not mine. Don't let anyone tell you something's not yours. You're what, 19? 20. <laughs> Fucking A. Everything's yours. I don't think I even remember my 20s. But, but I remember everything. I remember Yorktown and Reagan and the Mongols and Kaiser Wilhelm. Like, they happened yesterday. What's happening? You finally stopped letting ignorance squat down and take shit on your chest. What is wrong with you? Everything that needs to be. Are your friends anything like you? Uh, Jules! <laughs> Julia! Hey, come on! Please, come, come on! Call someone here. Yeah, you have to call. I, I, I'm too high. I'm too high, Jules. Oh my god. So while you're able to snort the mysteries of the universe like the finest Peruvian marching powder, your chicken and friends still think death is something more than the next step. I'm 20 years old. I, I can't. I don't, I don't want this. It's tough shit. You think Dick Nixon and Henry bomb anything that moves Kissinger wanted their lonely, poisonous brains filled, to be filled with dead Vietnamese? You had a goddamn choice and you didn't live with it. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> no, 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 no. We didn't have a choice. The soldiers, the hippies, the liberals. We got old. We didn't have a choice. We were left behind. Because in a nation ruled by swine, all the pigs are upward and old. I want to go back to my friends. Go back then. I can't. I know. Why can't I? What else do you want? I want a car and, and maybe a home with a husband and 2.5 kids and a steady job with a decent income and to maybe, just maybe, live better than my rich conservative brain dead parents. Is that what you want me to say? The best way to get that in your young man's dies is copious amounts of recreational drugs. It's the easiest. <laughs> you would have been a good journalist. <laughs> hey, Jules, it's, it's okay. You, you can come down now. You, you can come back. I won't be mad. We won't be mad. Uh, I still love you, okay? Hello? Yeah, 911. Oh, yeah, we're on the campus, my friend. She, she had a lot of God, Please, please, please. Please. This is it, then? It's the edge. And remind me why you're here. I found the edge a long time ago. Made me who I am.
I don't know why I expect anything resembling an answer from you. Everyone I've ever known that's found the urge either takes the plunge into the inky back black filth that we've come to know and love, or turns back and they can never find it again. I'm such a fucking idiot. You're 20. I knew this would happen, I guess. I, I guess I always knew. What do you think you were trying to do? I knew about the pills and the booze and the weed. <laughs> yeah, kid stuff. I wanted to die. How do you think I got here? What are they doing? Where are they going? This isn't what I wanted to happen. Okay. I can't feel anything. I can't feel you. She's gone. She's so gone. But we're still here. Yeah. I'm still here. You're still here. We're still here. This is the time for sentimentals, little lady. Don't you get it, you fucking nutcase? I'm dying. I'm, I'm dead, and I meant for it to happen. I did this, standing on the edge. When I died, I did because I was dumb. I had everything finished up. Made it to 67 years and couldn't stand another second. It felt selfish, sharing the sick world with the young and idealistic. They didn't need me. Never did, still don't. But me, and the people like me, we were... Alive. Like most others, I was a seeker, a mover, a malcontent, and sometimes even a stupid hellraiser. Never standing still long enough to take any of the poison in. I felt like we were making progress, my friends and I. Starting to make something of this desert, and that we did it the right way. And yet, that the whole thing was pointless. That it, it was doomed from the start, going off on our odyssey with no hope of return. It was the tension that kept me going. Idealism and hellfire side by side. You just have to keep riding. Change stations if you have to, but you've already bought your ticket. Who are you? I am the patron saint of cripples and seekers. Some call me Gonzo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Gotta fight off the manta rays. Scary little bitches. They'll cover you up with their flaps, suffocate you before they catch you. Scary sons of bitches. I'm gonna go now. You sure? Lots more to be found around here. Ever wanted to know what Ronnie Reagan was up to in the East Room? Or the ever secret, mysterious secrets of the Orient? I don't think we call it that anymore. Uh, what do I know? My brain's got blown out in the back of my head. I don't know what good it'll do. Well, go on, get it. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Holy shit, what? Do they still read my books? <laughs>